Hello, I'm King Human on YouTube. Maybe you know me and maybe you don't. A while back I posted a video about an unknown creature that I had found in the woods. That video got over 1.3 million views to date. It continues to get views and I get thousands of emails from people about that video. Some emails are from people asking me about the creature, other emails are people telling me about their experiences with unknown creatures and paranormal experiences. A few weeks ago, I obtained proof that one of these creatures really does exist. It's the horned demon creature of Felton, and I actually have it. I actually have it in my possession. Before this date, the horned demon creature Felton was another Chupacabra Bigfoot story. There was no proof. Now I hold in my hand unequivocal proof that the horned demon creature of Felton, unknown to science before this point, actually exists. I have it in my hand. I'm going to show you guys the video of exactly what transpired and exactly how it transpired and exactly how I come to own this thing. It starts a few weeks ago when another YouTuber, Jeff <laughs> emailed me telling me about their local creature, the horned demon creature of Felton. Take a look. So after getting Jeff's email and seeing the pictures of this creature that he says he has, I figured, you know, I don't live that far from Felton. I can take a drive out there and see if this guy's for real or not. But before I met up with Jeff, I wanted to kick around the town of Felton and see what I could find out about this so-called horned demon of Felton. This unknown creature that seems to be sighted every once in a while in the woods. Felton, California is a small, quiet mountain village of very private people. The community is a community of covered bridges and they even have a steam train attraction that brings in the tourists from Santa Cruz. It's a very small town, very local, and most of the locals I talk to won't even allow me to use the footage of them when they tell me about their experiences of the creature. Kicking around town, I find a local magazine in a pizza parlor that supports evidence of the horned creature. It's a Felton Town Times. Their lead article is about another sighting of the creature. I contacted the magazine and they refused to let me use any of the information or quote from the article. Like I said, it's a very small town in Felton and they're very tight-lipped. After several days of poking around, I was finally able to find one resident who wasn't afraid to talk on camera. Rick Zubo talks about his experience. And I started to smell this musty uh, odor. It smelled like uh, algae or swamp like swamp mold. And I turned around and I noticed it was about six feet tall and it kind of startled it. And it had horns and it was kind of all mossy, hairy looking. And so as I got startled, it got startled too. And I didn't know if I should run or not. But then I decided I better get out of here. So I slowly started to take off. And as I did, I looked back and it took off as well. So we, it was more afraid of me than I was of him. And it was a real eerie, weird experience. Another local resident of Boulder Creek, John Bullman, tells a very similar story about his sighting. He sighted a creature about six feet tall, large horns coming out the top of its head, big claws. The creature stands and walks on two legs and runs on four legs. Almost prehistoric in nature. You know, this creature looked very intimidating. I was by myself and I didn't know what to do. So I thought it would be a good idea to get out of there, uh, just turn and run and see, you know, that's what I did. After gathering what information I could around town, I decided to go see what Jeff actually had. He didn't want to appear on camera, but here he is showing me the actual creature. It's absolutely fascinating. I know right away I'm looking at something that's never been seen before. Here it is close up. Here are some still pictures I took with my still camera, so you can see some detail. Check this out. Look at those horns. In this picture, you can clearly see four fingers and an opposable thumb. 
that's not a doctored picture. Okay, here's the specimen. I'm going to take it out of the jar so we can get a better look at it and uh, really give it a good examination here so you know this is not a fake. Oh, oh the smell. see he's probably about I don't know five six inches um, kind of hard to imagine something this small could grow into a six foot purportedly six foot creature uh, it doesn't ha yet have the prominent snout and the teeth well we can't really see the teeth because I can't open it its mouth it's it's in full rigor it, I can't move this thing you can see here is the umbilical cord which is what leads me to believe that this was stillborn uh, when Jeff found it um, again it's purported I mean you can't really tell here because the feet the legs are kind of they go around like this so you can't really tell the length of the legs, but I estimate the legs would be at about that much more to the length of the creature. And it's reported that this creature walks on two legs and runs on four legs. Um, here you can see the four legs. Um, and of course the most prominent feature are these bizarre horns. And uh, they're starting to turn white now because they're out of the liquid. I don't know what that's about. Um, maybe it's a reaction to the air somehow. Um, here, let's see if I can move this closer to the camera so you can get a close-up view of the face. Um, actually, looks kind of cute here. Doesn't look very threatening, of course. But, uh, this is quite an interesting specimen. Remember, this has never been seen before by the public. Never been proven to exist before. Uh, uh, an absolutely new specimen. Nobody knows what it is or where it comes from. The horned demon creature of Felton. Proven to exist. Here's the evidence. Well, there you have it. That's about all I can show you in eight minutes. Next, I'm going to take this thing to UC Santa Cruz Biology Department to see what the professors have to say about it. It's going to be a whole follow-up video, so keep an eye open for that one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Be nice to somebody less fortunate than yourself. King Human out of here. Bye, Inara. Cheers!